Welcome to the S2K show. This is Ron Moore along with the Star Soldier and special guest Magus X1. Yo, hey guys, Magus here. Oh, yeah, and we got, got yeah, we got May join us a little bit later, hopefully. So, uh, but right now we have Magus and Star Soldier with us, and this is a very cool moment for S2K. Magus is back on YouTube, mm -hmm. and he's making his debut here. Oh, hopefully, yeah. many, hopefully more appearances maybe later on for the S2K channel. Oh, for sure, I'll be back. You know what I mean? I'll be back. No, the last yeah. week has been crazy, though. Fuck. Right. I mean, it's 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 just been... I mean, like... I just made a video bitching about something, and it blew up, and it got my drive back to do YouTube again. Yeah. Sometimes that is how it happens on YouTube. Someone do a video, and it blows up. Like, whoa, where'd that come from? Now, now it's not, like, super viral, but it caused a stir. Yeah. And sometimes you need that in videos because, you know, you always get the status quo and you want somebody to break the mode, so to speak. Right, right. Right, yeah, yeah, it, it, it just was, well, here's the thing, it was, let's talk about this first because, you know, it kind of got you back into making videos, Ron. Yeah. And then, um, Star Soldier, where are you at, man? Kind of make videos. <laughs> well, right now I'm making some world championships like I just submitted a video that only has like 30 hits on like the game Tetris Spear but it's because it's long born but it's also officially a world record on Twin Galaxies right now oh nice so I'm the new WWF No Mercy and Tetris Spear world champion congrats man that's fucking badass thank you that is badass that is badass but yeah, um, yeah, join our little group though once you're done with all that. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Because it's I... because it, it 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 just basically I said some stuff that needed to be said. I felt and I called out some big YouTubers, which they're not gonna give a fuck about me. You know what I mean? But I just got yeah. sick of when we were doing it back in the day. It was a lot of more inf information. Like, I could go to Star Soldier, for example. He did a lot of TG-16 videos, right? Mm-hmm. And you kind of were, were the first guy that started the TG-16 thing, because there's a little bit of a following for TG-16. Yeah, there wasn't too many people making to rest at scene videos, and, you know, that kind of upset me, because I really loved the system growing up, and all I'm seeing is videos of gameplay, and I'm not seeing anybody doing any commentary. Yeah, yeah, and you were the yeah. first one, I would say. Yeah, and you know what? But I, I personally don't have a problem with footage that's just gameplay, as long as it's like a playthrough of, like, not necessarily a speed run, but a playthrough of a game. Because there are some games where I haven't never seen the whole game to, or never seen the ending of, and it's always great, like just to see, like for Dirty Harry. This is what got me to subscribe to Corn Shack. He did a full playthrough of Dirty Harry, and I cannot get through that game. It sucks, and it's hard, and I just stopped playing it. And then he did a full playthrough of it, and I got to see the whole thing. Damn. Yeah. So I, I think that's pretty cool for that reason. Now, he did commentary over it, but there's some where I don't really care for commentary. I want to see the, the whole game. and Or maybe like Twilight Princess, I was doing that for a while. Someone did a full 100% playthrough of it, and I didn't get through the whole playthrough. But right. I watched like at least halfway through, and it was cool just to see what you can do, I don't know, where all the secret bugs are and, and or secret uh, uh, shield or whatever and just uh, see through the whole game again because I don't have the game on me and I can't really play it. Next best thing, watch someone else play it on YouTube. So I personally don't have a problem with just gameplay footage of people I, playing it through as long as it's good gameplay and they're getting through the game in a timely manner. I don't either, but back then there just wasn't a lot of commentary on the TG-16. But real quick though, you, have you ever checked World of Long Plays? I, I've heard of them. I've never Subscribe really actually checked them out. Subscribe to them because that is just nothing but long plays with no commentary. I cool. heard their channel, yeah. And sometimes I look up their videos if I want to see if I can beat a certain game or get a world record on something. <laughs> so I use their video as a reference. Yeah, it's a good it's a good channel. Valus77, the guy I know, he does c contributions to that channel. I think that channel has several million subscribers. But it's not, it's just long plays. And they don't do, like, popular shit. Like, you'll see, like, Final Fight, Sega CD version. 
Yeah. Um, what else? Um, Magic Knight Ray or, you know, Sega Saturn. Shit like that. Yeah. But you also see some popular stuff, but you see a lot of niche titles on that. On that. Right. So it's... And that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It's really a good, uh... It's really a good, uh, channel, so... But yeah, um... Back to what's going on, though. It's it's just been, you know, it's been insane. And, like, people are telling me, well, Magus, because of your video, you know, you got to come back. And I'll admit, I have a bad habit of making promises. Like, I had a reboot planned last summer, and it didn't pan out due to personal reasons. But, yeah. but this time it's different because last year I kind of had the idea to get people back together to do a community and most people told me no you know there's no community but i do this video and holy shit so it's pretty right. cool yeah it is very very cool really cool um, i don't know what's going to happen with it though and i hope it works out yeah. yeah well see to me i i mean i still do it every once in a while because i really and again you know this is something you should not force yourself to do um, so it's all about, to me, it's all about the experience, not about necessarily getting big or popular on YouTube. I had a lot of fun memories with Star Soldier, Wee Guy, J-Man doing commentaries, whether they be on the Raw Moore or S2K channels. A lot of fun with the Skip Rogers channel too because of the trolling, in which I, I'm not trying to be a troll, but people are really tro trolling themselves because they take it too seriously and it's not meant to be like that. And, I mean, yeah, it was... To me, it's all about the experience on YouTube and the camaraderie. And, yeah, the community, too. I definitely hope the community gets back in full force again. Yeah, I don't – like I said, if we can get it big, it'll be good. Um, like I said, some people are like, well, you should try to, you know, trounce PewDiePie and stuff. That's not going to happen. Right. That, that's not going to happen. I, I don't – I think those channels are trash. I'm not going to deny that. Uh, however, right. though, I'm not going to, like – we have to, you know, topple them down. They're the empire. Yeah. But that's not going to happen. Yeah, that's crazy. A lot of people try to do that with the whole Ira Gamer thing. <laughs> he sucked. He was copying Reveal Gamer, but he's in his ivory tower. He can't be toppled, so to speak. Well, yeah. well, here's the thing about Irate Gamer. When I was back in the day, when I was doing Magus Rant on the full... Force, get guess what rat was the most requested and I never did. Irate mm. gamer. Yeah. Wow. I got messages all the time because if you remember the old message message system, um, you know, um, that way. I know you'll remember the Star Soldier, but remember around the time like June, July, two thousand eight, because you were you were one of my first subscribers. I think. Oh, that's cool. I think you were, but I know you were there early on. But what, but like June of June of two thousand eight was when there was a time when I had a hundred subscribers each day, real, literally, and I grew to like two thousand within like two weeks, yeah. two thousand subs, and it was during that time when the Magus rants were blowing up and all that shit, and I got so many messages, Magus. Rat on irate gamer. Rat on irate gamer. Rat on irate gamer. And there was something always telling me, dude, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not telling me not to fucking rat on him, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this. If all of you may remember back la last October, he released that video, remember? Oh, I haven't. I don't follow irate, irate gamer. He released a video because you know how he was. Sub Here's the thing. He was subject to so many criticisms, but he never responded to any of them, right? And that right. could be a two, a, one of two things. He's either being the better person or he's being an arrogant shit, right? Right. He released a video last October telling his side of the story. And he even admits that he is an angry video game nerd clone. He outright copied him. But... Yeah. But what he stated was, the problem was, this is what's interesting about it, is he said that YouTube made one of his videos into a featured video, and he blew up, and that's when Armac and all those guys attacked him. Yeah. So he's, you know, he, 
So at first, you can take this as a grain of salt and say, well, he's full of shit. I'll tell you this. I talked to the guy. I had a lengthy dialogue for about two months with him on Facebook. I talked to Irate Gamer, and he responded to all my messages. And I will say that while his angry video game nerd, his Irate Gamer videos aren't the best, he's better at doing blog videos, and he is generally a nice guy. And I believe his side of the story and I've heard things about Jane Ro- James Rolfe that are not favorable at all from people, so. Yeah. He even states that about, he sent a very polite email to James Rolfe, and he said that, he claims it was Mike Matei that leaked it. So a lot of drama shit, but I'll tell you this, I am glad I never did a Night Raid Gamer rant. Yeah. You remember, yeah, I remember Arm 821's rant, that was pretty brutal. And, and, and I know you like Armac Twenty One, but I don't think he was much better, to be honest. Oh yeah, well, what well, what got me hooked is just his style of reviewing, and and it was during a time where he was his videos were one of the videos that helped me escape reality, and I, so I never conver- conversed with the guy at all. Um, however, uh, he stopped doing videos, and uh, there was a lot of controversy <clears throat> around Armac Twenty One. Supposedly his girlfriend hacked his channel and it got taken down one year. I remember then, that. Then he admitted, I, th- I think it was a conspiracy that Arm Ar- 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 <coughs> the whole time just to get people talking. And I, but one reason why I lost respect for him and didn't really care about him no more, he did a rant where he basically told his fans to F off. People were requesting, when are you going to bring, hey Marcus, when are you going to bring Arm 21 back? And, and he goes, stop asking me that. You guys need to F off. He is dead. F off. And I'm like, whoa. Uh, now, come on. Now, if you don't want to do it anymore, just say, guys, I appreciate you asking me to bring back Army 21, but I'm done. Thank you for watching. I, I just don't want to do it no more. Just right. to, to say, tell your fans to F off like that, that's totally not cool. <laughs> there's I being never, angry, and then there's being a total douche. Exactly. Yeah. I never liked that guy. Never yeah, did. I mean, and and I, I don't know these people, these big-time YouTubers personally. I never can talk to any of them. Uh, like you know, well, well, James. Well, back up real quick. Think about big time. Most of the people who were big aren't big anymore because they either got overshadowed or they quit. Right? Our Mac right. was huge when I started. Right? Mm-hmm. Let's yeah. be honest. I was what a lot of people said. I was one of the top guys in the gaming community at one point. Right? Which I was. But now I'm small fish, which is fine. I'm not mad about that. You know what I mean? I'm totally cool yeah. because I have a steady fan base, and I have people who, you know, I get 200 views at least at the at least two 300 views a video. That's cool with me. That's a lot of views. Yeah, you know, it, it doesn't need it. You know, <clears throat> now back in the day, my videos got like at my peak, I would get on average 1,000, 2,000 views, 3,000 views. But now I, you know, I'm like happy with the views I get. So that right. shit doesn't matter to me. But, you know, we either got overshadowed or whatever. You know, our Mac is gone. Cloud 866 or whatever, he's gone. A lot of those yeah. guys are gone, and it's just, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I, wanted, I wanted to ask you, um, and I know the name Magus, the character Magus, comes from Chrome Trigger. So, but for you to use that username, I assume that's where you got it from, right? Was Magus one of your favorite characters and you wanted to use that as a YouTube username? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. The channel has been around since... I started making videos in 2008, but the channel's been around since 2006. Ah, uh, okay. So it's... So, the Magus X1 channel technically has almost been around... Uh, I think I started it, like, June something, 2005, 2006, and it's been around since then, so... Yeah, that's what I did. My channel's been around since July 2007, but I started videos. Yeah, so mine was kind of close to the when I started the channel. July, then I think September 2007 is when I started doing videos. But the oldest videos on my channel you'll find right now is from October 2007. And those are a webcam in front of the TV of me and my friends playing Street Fighter or Neo Geo Battle Coliseum and all that stuff. And for the actual reviews and Let's Plays, didn't really start until like... February or April 2008. I think my and, my first four videos are lost. They're gone. Yeah. Yeah. The only clip that I have of my first video 
is actually in my one year anniversary video, which is still up. Yeah. And that was um, my first video was the Chrono Trigger retranslation video. Yeah. And, you know, it was if you could look at that video, it was like, hi, this is, you know, it was very like I was very fucking nervous. And I only did yeah. that video because I wanted to say a few things. I'm like, oh, this is kind of fun. So I started posting videos, 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 and then it just blew up. Right. Now, how controversial was your first video? It pissed off a whole website. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you said they wanted to kill you or something. Yeah, it, basically what it was, there was this group. It's still around, I believe, Chrono Compendium. It's a Chrono Trigger fan site, right? Yeah. They, at the time, had released early, maybe late 2007, early 2008, a ROM patch for Chrono Trigger, which was a retranslation. And they're like, oh, this is the definitive one. It's close to the Japanese version, blah, blah, blah. You play that motherfucker, and it's English. Yeah. It's English. <laughs> and I was, you know, let's be fair. I was nowhere near as aggressive. As I am today in my videos. As you know, I'm pretty aggressive. Yeah. Um, but in that video, I wasn't even nearly half aggressive. It was like, there are some problems, but... Blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it was very, like, kind of nice criticism. Boy, did they want to kill me. Yeah. And then I did something on Killer Instinct, I think. And then I did... Another, my third video was a follow-up to that. And they attacked me again. And then <clears throat> I blew up. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck these guys. That's what I thought in my head. Fuck these guys. You know, um, actually, that's not what happened. What happened was they announced Chrono Trigger for Nintendo DS. I think you guys remember that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I did a video, you know, saying, oh, we're getting an actual good translation, unlike the <laughs> Chrono Compendium one, which dug up wounds, and they found out about it. <clears throat> so they came up after me, and boy... I was starting to become the more aggressive Magus that I am today at that point, and I was already pretty aggressive by that point. So I did a, I did a panel on them, and I did a, um, a single rat video on them. And they yeah. didn't like it. They didn't like it <laughs> one bit. Wow. Some people just take things too seriously. I mean, fanboys just get ridiculous. It's like... <sighs> okay, now if <laughs> yeah, someone, it's a video you know, game. Come on. I mean, me and Star Soldier buddy heads. You know, he hates Mega Man Five. And I'm like, grr, <laughs> shut up. But I'm not gonna kill. I'm not gonna threaten to kill him. I'm, not, I'm gonna kill you. you. Hear me, Star Soldier? When I see you, I will kill you. Uh -uh. Oh, I've got my share of death threats. So you know, it's just ridiculous. So, fanboys, just oh man. I am pretty aggressive. I, you know, let's like the the videos that I've released in the last week. I've cut down several YouTubers. One wrongfully, which I, you know, corrected, as you know, Ron. Yeah. Which I fixed totally. But the others, you know, I have ripped into, of course, Michael Pyro and stuff. But some people weren't happy about me ripping into Metal Jesus Rocks. <clears throat> yeah. People weren't, you know, um, I released a video today as of this recording about the anime community, which, as you know, I was a part of. And I ripped into Professor Otaku. Yeah, And boy, people, you know, um, the Metal Jesus Rocks thing, I got one guy just fucking going to bat defending him. Defending him, defending yeah. him, defending him. And I'm like, fuck, dude. So, but I haven't gotten the abundance of fanboys, though, yet, which I'm, I hope I get soon. I haven't gotten a PewDiePie fanboy or a Markiplier fanboy. <laughs> I still don't yeah. know any PewDiePie fanboys out there. <laughs> Like, I ran it on him, too, and most people seem to hate the guy. I don't know where he gets his millions of fans from. I don't yeah. either. I think it's a lot of tweens, pre-tweens, that yeah. group. Pre-teens, you know, a lot of kids, like, <clears throat> they think they're funny for whatever reason. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking of, uh, fan, well, not fanboys, more haters, rather, uh, just... just People, the Skip Rogers thing really took off in 2008 when you did that video, and it really made me laugh and made me subscribe to you. So what exactly motivated you to get started on those Skip Rogers commentaries? 
Well, I owned... Okay, so the Skip Rogers tapes I owned as a child. I owned the, the Mega Man 2 one. <laughs> yeah. I bought... I remember... <clears throat> mind you, these videos were, what, produced in 89? Yeah. Okay, so if you, you know, Star Soldier would know this, you know this. As a child, when it came to video games, we didn't have media like YouTube to cover video games. We didn't have video game shows or... You know, things like that. You know, even cable, Spike TV attempted to have a video game show. Or you had X-Play and shit, right? Mm -hmm. As yeah. a kid, you you had Game Pro TV, which was in syndication. And only if your Fox affiliate picked it up. Yeah, we didn't get it all in Canada. Like, I never seen it here. Yeah, exactly. So, y there wasn't much video game media, but there were tapes that had tips on it. So, I thought it would be cool. <clears throat> to pick up this Nintendo tape. So I picked it up, and it was called Score More Points, and blah, 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 and it was all good. And as a kid, I was like, oh, it's all right, you know? And then years later, around the, about maybe a couple weeks before I did the Skip Rogers commentary, I saw it again, and I realized how fucking bad it was. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> And it was from my childhood. Now, I'll be honest with you, though. You may disagree with me, Ron, but I am not fond of those commentaries. Well, I'm very fond of the first one, especially the Mega Man 2 one, because that game I hold near and dear to my heart, and I know how to beat it and the right strategies to use. And the strategies, quote-unquote, that Skip was given was totally wrong. Don't use the metal weapon of Woodman. I'm like, wait, yes, you do. What are you doing? <laughs> and, and then your commentary, your commentary made even more funny. And I'm just like, this is hilarious. And it was one of those times I watched it when I was having a hard time in my life. And it really uh, helped me to escape reality. And so it was all good. Now, and the rest of the commentaries, I, I, I wasn't really too fond of. But that first one, I really, really enjoyed. And that just where it all started, the whole Skip the Rogers quote unquote phenomenon the on YouTube. The problem with those commentaries that I, I watched them. I repeated stuff. I wasn't good at it. That's why I would love to do them again when I can. Yeah. Um it's something that I want to do. The other yeah, thing that we I can think probably killed, do a track. Yeah. That would be good. The other the other thing too about it back then that I think destroyed the, the flow of it was the time limit. Oh yeah, the oh, yeah, days. yeah, yeah. Now, well, speaking speaking of, I'm oh, sorry, I was gonna say, of course, speaking of horrible reviewers, we got you there. No, I'm just kidding. That's mean. We got welcome. Now you can meet Magus formally. Hello, we got. I don't, I don't think you know of me or some shit. Maybe you do. Yeah, just by name. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha. We got does eight bit stereo. Look it up, Magus. He does excellent work. The eight bit stereo. And uh, where he, he uploads NES soundtracks, but in, in a, like a stereo format, sounds much more crisp and awesome. And he does reviews on gaming going gone. And he does various um, commentaries with us on SC2K. All right, we'll definitely check it out. Uh, welcome to the podcast, we guy. Welcome, we guy. And, and uh, sorry, Magus, go ahead and continue. Okay, so that was one problem was that the 10 minutes video limit. Yeah, I hated that. It was so <clears throat> Now, mind you, I prefer, like, to keep my main videos under, you know, how many minutes? 10, 20, 10 minutes. But when yeah. I do a panel, it's so much easier for me to upload them. If I do the Skip Rogers again, I can just do it in one shot. Right. Yeah. One shot, and that's it. Yeah. That'd be pretty good. But, yeah, don't, whatever you do, don't delete the no, 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 no. Commentary? I'll keep the original. I still go back and watch yeah, that. Leave keep... as a reference. Yeah, I'll yeah. keep the originals up for sure, but I will definitely redo those, though. Yeah. All right, I definitely look forward to that. Um, now, regarding your rants, what was your favorite rant that you did on YouTube? Um. Well, I guess the the one that I did last week did pretty well, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> Ironic enough, the best Magus rants shit. There were a couple that were memorable. The ones that I get cited on that people seem to like are the anime ones where I punch the guy in the face. Hmm. Um, I didn't punch. I told a story about how I ran into a weeaboo and I hit him in the face. 
Wow. Um, there's that one. I don't know if I remember, I don't know if I remember <clears> that one. <throat> I don't know. And then, of course, there were... Um, trying to think. There was the No Cussing Club one. Yes, I love that one. That one, um, shit, I don't... There's so many of them that I did. Um, I don't know if there's one that I'm proud of, per se. I know one that I did about three years ago I really like. And that was on Coney 2012. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember that whole stupid thing. Yeah, I remember that, that whole thing, yeah. Yeah, I did a rant on that. That I you really know, liked. I, I remember... Remember you saying Hulk Hogan was a member of the Cussing Club? And I'm like, he cusses all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. Yep. Yep. Hulk Hogan, Dr. Phil. Oh, God, the No Cussing Club. I remember, I mean, maybe 80s Hogan never cussed, say your prayers, eat your vitamins, be a real American brother. But Hollywood Hogan and then Hogan today and on, on TV. And like, he no, he's out cussed his a lot. dick or something? On, and they got video of it? I don't know about that. Yeah, well, I know there was a sex well, yeah, tape. Yeah, was it like in the porno or something? He got caught filming. Like one of his friends filmed it. Was Ed's it was friends after that. Spent, like a hidden <laughs> camera. Yeah, it was a hidden camera, and supposedly got filmed having sex with his friend's wife, who he didn't care. It was, I don't know, it was all messed up. It was all weird. Who knows? It was. Yeah, who knows? I mean, uh, that's not the Hulk Hogan I want to remember. I like to remember the '80s Hulk Hogan. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, when, when he's he was on full off, steroids. <laughs> yeah well you know when you're a little kid you didn't know or care about that yeah uh, I, I liked old school Hulk Hogan but I, when I heard he was a member of the No Cussing Club I'm like what that's like saying all right 21's a member of the, of the, the No Cussing Club and come on I, well, I don't know go ahead I remember I remember that you know what's one too going back to No Cussing Club now that you remind me of I liked a lot of people don't talk about the follow up that I did to it hmm there was a fuck. I, don't know if I remember that one. Yeah, it's called Tales from the No Cussing Club, where I went and read uh, testimonials from that website about the horrors of cussing. <laughs> and what was hilarious was these people were complaining about cussing at bars, um, sporting events, while driving. Yeah. What? <laughs> You're going to complain about cussing at a sporting event? For fucking yeah. real, you stupid motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as you guys know, I don't cuss, but me, I mean, I'm like, I'm not one of those people, I only say it if like, like for, it depends on the setting and where we're at. Like if I'm at church and I have kids with me, like if I had children and they were in church cursing or in a wedding or whatever, a certain time, you know, an event, then I'd be like, hey, watch your mouth. That's not the time or place to use this, you know. But, in, of course, in a sporting event or whatever, it, it, foul language is just everywhere, you know. And, and so I don't get horrified or too offended by it. And if someone uses, you know, God's name in vain, that does offend me, but I'll edit it out in my videos and anybody says that. But, you know, like to, to, to dedicate a whole group to it, I, I kind of thought that was kind of extreme. And, and then the horror stories, that does sound ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Oh, you know what? You, you know what? You want to know a rant that I really like, and you might not be aware of. What? It's from December 2011, and it's called Mega Rants Jaded Otaku Media. Mm, no, I haven't seen that one. Okay, so at the time, and it kind of relates. If I mentioned this rant in the video I released today about the anime community, about how they're more elitist. After I left, you know, a lot of the old anime reviewers left, and we all know what happened with Mister Anime. I know you do. Wait, with who? Mr. Anime? Oh, oh yeah, no, I'm, that's I'm not, the I'm, one who murdered his family, didn't he? Oh, yeah. I've heard about that one. Yeah, that was that's messed up. You know what was the creepy part? He wasn't one of my YouTube buddies. I talked to him all the time. Wow. And then he went and did this. So that's it so was messed up. You know, you know, at you know, I'll be honest, at the time that I was doing videos because I was actually doing videos, I'll be honest, to be fair. I was doing videos consistency from 2011 to March, and I was actually pretty passionate. I'll have to correct myself there, but Mr. Anime killed it for me. That really fucking killed my drive. Wow. Basically, what happened that day was, <clears throat> like I said, I was doing videos on a weekly basis, right? And Mr. Anime, I got a message from, from a friend of my Darkstream. 
And he said, you need to get on Skype right now. And I'm like, why? You know, and at the time, my ex, my ex-wife was going into surgery. And I was like, I, it's fine. I'll find out what the fuck you need. Right. So I get on and he, he says, you, he told me all about Mr. Anime, about how Mr. Anime went about. And basically, and I hate to make this into a downer, but this is a pretty important moment for me in my YouTube history because it discouraged me for so such a long time. He basically went and he killed his family because he was planning a Columbine-like event. And he wow. didn't want his family to live with the shame of what he did. Wow. And he turned himself in. Hmm. And the video that I did that was a reaction to this is still up. I did two videos on it, and then after that, I lost my drive. Yeah, I remember that yeah, video. That it was, was you. Was it you and Dark Scream and someone else in it? Aki Arisaka, Chris, another anime reviewer I'm friends with. Yeah, and no. you remember that Star Soldier? I just remember reading the headlines on it, and I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Here's a guy who seemed relatively normal, doing one of the most heinous things I ever heard. And it was a guy that I knew, which was insane. Yeah. I know, man. It's and just... he probably showed no signs of it, eh? Like They said there were signs of it. It just never showed up in his videos, except when he did gun videos, which he did do a lot of. Mm. He did do a lot of gun videos, but he's from Texas. Yeah, no everybody offense, has a gun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think they just passed something here where open carry is about to go into effect. So. Yeah, he... <clears throat> basically, he was just essentially, how can you say, he was just sort of, um, he just sort of, you know, seemed okay. He was, he shot guns, he's from Texas, okay, no big deal. And he did anime reviews. That, he was, he was one of the first people that crew came up with the anime community, too, on YouTube. He established it. Yeah. So, it was, when that shit went down... <clears throat> it was pretty good. And I remember his last message to me was, Magus, we got to do a video together on on the anime community maybe in about a week. And that was right a week before he did what he did. Yeah. That's just, that's just crazy stuff like that. Blows your mind. You think you know somebody. Mm -hmm. And it, dude, I'll be honest, it killed my drive for videos. And then I tried uh, several comebacks and they just never felt right. And I had a big reboot plan last year, but personal stuff gone, and that drive just wasn't fully there. But yeah. now it is. Yeah. So is it safe to say I'm back? I believe so. I say so. You really made an impact in that video, and I, I, <clears throat> I think that, that makes it official that you're back, and hopefully it's the beginning of the video game community really you know, making a big comeback. Let me be honest. I think we can form a new community. I don't think... It's going to be, a lot of people are big now. A lot of the big guys aren't going to care about us. Yeah. But I'll say this. If we can form a community based on little guys, why not? Right. Yeah, why not? Why not? So, yeah, and the reason why we're not big is because some yeah. reason or other, we had to like stop making videos and life gone the way. Now yeah. that we're making videos... You know, <laughs> it's full steam ahead. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yep. And like I said, when I my I consider my first run February '08 to 2010. Who knows where I would have been if that run had continued to this day? But right. I think I would have had needed a break anyway because that's what six years of video made seven years. Yeah. Who would have thought seven years since 2008? But I mean, you know, you're right. You're right. You know, you. I. I think you quit videos, right? Yeah. Uh, I, Star uh, Soldier. Yeah, I quit making videos on my Star Soldier channel because I think it got DMC'd, and I had to, you know, take off a lot of videos from the channel, and it was just nuts. That's when YouTube was like really laying down the ban hammer and deleting videos left and right. For the stupidest of reasons. Like you get companies out of nowhere just saying, no, you can't post this. 
Yeah, I don't know how the fuck I survived it because I used a lot of licensed music. You remember? Yeah. Yeah. My videos have been third party, not taken down or muted, but third party. Which I, I have a few that are muted too. Yeah. Yeah. But but yeah, Star Soldier was still around. You know what's funny too is uh, we had a friend, and I I found him about oh a couple months back, maybe back in January, and that's Nintega. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, I still talk to him. He's he's now all about metal, which he wasn't back in the day. <laughs> but he's a big metalhead, which is cool. I follow his posts on Facebook. But, you know, he doesn't have the collection he used to have. Yeah. Because he had to sell it. But, I, you know, Nintega was a guy that I liked. A lot of people hated him. I never had a reason to hate Nintega, though. And I'm well, that guy... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I just heard, you know, he had some bad business deals with people on the PC FX forums where he didn't get a system, and he made a rant video on them, and that started some to hate, because, I don't know, maybe <laughs> they thought he was a bit too extreme, but I, I would be mad about something <clears throat> like that, too. And I never hated him, though, and I know you never did. No. No, I never had a reason to hate him. He was a good guy. He still is a good guy. Yeah, but... I like anybody who talks about the Turgrass 16, you know? Yeah, and you were one of the first. You were the first one. Now we have guys, uh, you know, there's several and Turbo Graphics 16-bit channels, which yeah. is nice. And I love the Turbo Graphics, you know? You know, I, I still want to do a video someday. And I, again, I'm not making promises because I'm terrible at it. But, <laughs> no I, problem. I, but I would love to do a video on Final Soldier. Oh, oh yeah. Very cool shoot up. <laughs> Final Soldier here. <laughs> yeah, Final Soldier is so... I you know you have what's the ones on the TG sixteen? There's super, there's yeah, Superstar super... Soldier, Blazing Lasers, and Soldier Blade. Those ones were released in North America here. Okay, but which ones weren't though? Because I know Superstar, I know Soldier Blade and Final Soldier were not. Final Soldier wasn't. Soldier Blade was. Okay, yeah, but I really it was one like... of the final releases though, and very I tough really, to find. I really like Final Soldier a lot. Final Fantasy I, Soldier? No. <laughs> well, that would like be Final awesome, Fantasy. though. <laughs> they was... also released a parody version called Fantasy Star Soldier in Japan, or Star Parodia. Oh! Okay, yeah, I heard that's a Parodia. How come you're not the Star Soldier World Champion? <laughs> it's a very tough score to beat. Oh. <laughs> I'm the Super Star Soldier Champion, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> you should change your name to Super Star Soldier. Yeah, that would be yeah. cool. Um, but I got too many channels as it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering, are you going to make also Dota BF No Mercy World Video Game champion, champion Channel and then a bunch of Adventure Video Game Championship Channels? Like, whoa. <laughs> the no, no, I just got to focus on the two channels. Oh, okay. Star Soldier 1, Arizona World <laughs> cool Champ. Yeah. The Bonks videos are really good. The Bonks vi games, I should say. Bonks Adventure yeah. and shit. Uh, the game's bunk. No, I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. uh, Oh, but so, um, I wanted to ask you about something else. There was more controversy, Magus, that surrounded you in 2009. And it was Beltino 500 and Samuel <laughs> the Geek that pulled a prank where they made people think that you were oh. dead. Oh, yeah, that was awful. <laughs> and oh, so when that first happened, I'm like, oh, man, this is terrible. Magus is dead. Hey, J-Man. Uh, and I was telling J-Man on Skype and everything. And we were all talking about, man, that's messed up what happened. Well, supposedly he tried to save his son from drowning, and then he broke his leg and fell in a swimming pool or something. <laughs> and part of me had a feeling, oh, man, I hope this is not true. This is surreal. Please don't let it be true. Come to find out, think Beltino, or people started explaining the joke, of the whole Oregon Trail <sighs> reference, and Beltino did his video where he's supposedly mad at people for not getting it. And that right there, it pissed me off. I almost wanted to do a rant about it, but I was like, you know, I'm not going to even touch upon this. And Masterhand, of all people who like to do angry rants, was telling me, eh, just let that go, Ronnie. You need to get over that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do a rant about it, but come on, man. How are you going to – not everybody gets the the whole freaking trail reference. I did play a little bit in high school, like in class. But I, and, 
Hey, Most of on. people on these you know sites are console gamers, not PC gamers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So well, I didn't know what Oregon Trail was. Yeah, that that is something that anytime you talk about my YouTube history, that's one thing that's always brought up. Talk about certain rants. No Cussing Club. There's several events that are brought up. Semper Games. I know Star Soldier remembers Semper Games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Semper Games, will, I would say the most extreme cases that happened with me were Semper Games and the death of Magus X1. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, that right there, I mean, I was glad you were alive, but I was like, man, okay, I'm glad he's alive, but Anyway, but come on, what if, God forbid, Magus were really die next week? Is Samuel the Geek and Beltino 500 going to upload a video saying, guys, we're for real this time? And well, we're like, sure, yeah, uh-huh, we're not going to fall for it again. And it's stuff like that you shouldn't really joke about. And they assumed that everybody would get the reference, and not 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 people did. And another thing that angered me and J-Man was Beltino and Samuel would upload videos making fun of us. You guys are idiots. You didn't get that? No, well, we didn't get it. <laughs> Well, here's what happened, and I gotta go here, so I'll tell you this story in Semper Games. I think Star Soldier remembers Semper Games, right? Yeah, he was sort of like a weird ranter. Yeah, it was. It that was bizarre. Semper Games happened a year before the death of Megas X One, so they were kind of like the big events of that year. Basically, what happened was the night before that all went down, I was scheduled to record an episode of TPPPG, which was the first podcast that they did with Alex from Games and Me, who I still do today. I still do the Social Link podcast, right? Yeah. So with that said, I was on a Skype call with Baltino and those guys, and they were making all kinds of fucking um, Oregon Trail jokes. All kinds of Oregon Trail jokes, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I have to go, guys, and they go, pepperoni and cheese, here lies Vegas X1. And then I, w- I went and did um, Social Link, and it was a late recording, I remember that. Now, I don't know if the death pranks happened when I was recording it or after. I think it ha- started right when I was recording, so I had no idea any of this was going on. Yeah. So all of that happened, and then I went to bed. And then I slept in late that day because it was summer. And my son slept in because it was still three. I woke up the next day. I log on to YouTube. And I see my subscriber count increased by 400 the night before. And I'm like, what the fuck? Now, mind you, at this point, Happy Console Gamer and Pete Dorr Two guys I've supported were pretty big. They were like over like 20,000 or something like that, right? Subs. So my assumption at first was that I had I had um, gotten a plug from them. The reason I knew I had so many subs was because um, my email. I used to have my email send me whenever someone subscribed to me. And there was just a ton of them. I'm like, where are these fucking things coming from? So I go on my channel. I saw that I jumped to 400 scu- subs because I was at 3,800 the night before, and now I'm at 42, right? And by the time the weekend was over, I was already at 47. That's how ridiculous. And then I look onto all the fucking um, comments and all of this shit going, Magus, de- joking Magus is dead is not funny. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I had no idea <laughs> what was going on. Magus is dead. Magus is dead. Magus is dead. Magus. I'm like, what? Are you serious? So what did I do? I researched all this. I found out what happened. And I made that video where I just basically said, hey, guys, I'm alive. Remember that two minute video? Yeah, <laughs> I made a two minute video just saying I'm alive and uh, you know it was funny I wish that all the videos around that were dead because that morning there were like 70 tribute videos to me Whoa. and then videos of people that was just the tribute videos 
Then there were the videos about people speculating if this is a joke, and there was even like forty, like four part panel discussions, and it was just this big thing overnight. And there were emergency panels, and there were fucking, it was insane. There were emergency rants and people crying, and I was like, "What?" Wow. Yeah, I came real close to doing a tribute video too, and I was like, "Hold on a second, let." I'm going to do more research on this. I'm gonna, mm, hold on a second. I, I, I just had a feeling something wasn't right. And thank God I held off on that and they found out it wasn't true. And I was like, come on, that is messed up. <laughs> I can understand if they did it where they upload a graphic of a tombstone, like a five, ten second clip. I'd be like, what? It must be a video game reference. But the way they did the videos were very sentimental and serious. And I'm like, that's messed up. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, was pretty I can insane. See why a lot of people thought it was real. Yeah, it was. It they were pissed. They were pissed. So, and then there was the controversy from the summer before that. Semper Games. Yeah. Now let's be. Now that I look back on it, Semper Games was a group of people that were these kind of video game spiritualists. It, you have yeah, to watch. Yeah, they were kind of trolls. Yeah, they were sense. trolls. They were trolls. I I learned that they were ultimately trolls. But their leader was a guy named Games Master Jasper. And I, he did this weird thing on Hispanics and gaming, and I did a response to him. And I don't know what else I did, but I said something else, and he trolled me, Time Warp 1, Samuel to Geek, and various others. And what he did was, and this video is still up, so you guys should go see it, is he took a very Mexican-Jamaican-sounding guy, and he basically said that he was in hiding because I had sent him death threats, and then he made this fake video recording death threat of me threatening to throw explosive pineapples into his window. I think I've heard about that. Yeah. I think I have heard about that. Yeah. I was... Remember, this only happened about four months into my YouTube career, if you call it a career, because I never made a fucking dime off of it. Yeah. <laughs> but We all did it. We all did it. But I'll say this. It was an interesting, interesting experiment. And I look back on it, and it's hilarious. And all yeah. those Games Master Jasper videos are still up. And I watched the Death Threat one, and I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> I, it was like, I will, I will cap you. It was all these Latino stereotypes, like, I'll cap you, hombre, and... I'll throw explosive pineapples and rare Latino poisons, and holy shit, it was hilarious. So, <laughs> wow. Uh, you seem was, to, you seem, sometimes you see you seem to be in the center of controversy every now and then for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do, and even now, like I did piss off some people with these last rants. Yeah, I, I you know, <laughs> um, Brett Hicks, a channel that I think is other, and you guys don't. This is my words, not Ron. Or Star Soldiers, okay? Just giving a warning. This is my word, so go after my ass. There's a channel with this guy named Brett Hicks, and it's other garbage. And I called him out, and he's not too happy about it. And from what I understand, he's going to make a hate video on me. So some things don't change, I suppose. Yeah. What do you I don't even know that channel. Huh? I don't even know that channel. It's, it's, this is how bad it is. He spends a 15-minute video screaming at his PlayStation 3 to work. Screaming at it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that sounds pretty bad. It's really bad. So. Yeah. And, well, you can't you can't please everybody. No, yeah. no, no. But, yeah, I'll, I would love to be back on there. We haven't even talked about, like, my video gaming and stuff like that. We just talked about the controversies. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can always do another podcast if you want. Um, I know you got to get going here. And uh, so thank you very much for joining us. Oh, for sure. It was a pleasure, Star Soldier, um, Ron mm -hmm. Moore. And we, Guy, you can say something. It's cool. No, no, this is a good no, no, history no, don't lesson. Talk, we got, it's okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> kidding. Well, thanks for recording, we got. We got usually records for us because he has mm -hmm. the unlimited version of Pamela. So that's all he's good for. That's the only reason why we have him, honestly. An 8 bit stereo. I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll check out 8-Bit Stereo, though. I'm curious. Yeah, definitely check it, it out. Good Very work, good yeah. stuff. And he has good reviews, too. We got, was what, 5 million subscribers? Is that right? <laughs> no. Not even. Like, over 400 on the other channel. 
Yeah. What about your eight bit stereo though? You have that's a big one, is it? Yeah, it's over fifteen thousand, so it's you know. It's... Oh, that's cool. See. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. All right. So that is it. We're out of here again. Thank you very much, Magus, for joining us, and You're hope, very welcome. hope to definitely have you back for more podcasts and LPs. Awesome. Thank you guys for having me. All right. So see you guys later. Bye.